Okay, this is the mom update. Um, we're finally in the post-holiday era and people are back in the office and so I was able to get some things done today. First of which was getting a COVID test because uh, someone that I had um, uh, proximity with over the past several days uh, tested positive. So I took a test this morning and I tested negative. So still good on that. Although honestly, if I do end up testing positive, the ability to sequester and quarantine for, you know, a period of days here is not all that difficult. Number two, uh, this was the day when I had to go and finalize all of the internment and burial paperwork and pick out the casket and write the obituary and pick the picture for the obituary. And uh, wow, it packs a wallop. I have to say, Sea's Funeral Home has been exemplary. They've been wonderful in getting all of this, you know, all the necessary stuff together so that I'm not having to deal with all the fine paperwork of, you know, contacting cemetery and all of those things. That They are exceptionally good at doing it. Writing the obituary has been the hardest. And I will say a number one piece of advice, if you have to go through this kind of thing, Write your obituary early. Start writing it while you have a chance. If you possibly have a chance, start doing it. Because when it comes down to it, under the gun, I, it, what am I going to write? So, yeah. I mean, if you get a chance, do it ahead of time. Tomorrow, we go with the uh, with one of the financial folks and I turn in the keys to the safe deposit box, get some of that stuff straightened out. Uh, there's more that hopefully I'll get to tomorrow, although I'm still waiting for a phone call. Um, I will just have to see. I had to contact uh, some of my relatives to let them know when the actual uh, internment is. There is no funeral, uh, as per mom's request. Um, which I think we're all in agreement with. Um, there will be uh, a small internment ceremony. It's very short. Uh, it's basically, it's not even at the gravesite. It is at the facility. Um, and we're doing it private, just family. Yeah, I'll be down in the cities for a few days and then coming back up to Bemidji to <sighs> hopefully deal with some more stuff in a little bit less pressured of a fashion. There are things that don't need the immediacy of the burial and all of that, so I will get a little bit more time. Neighbors and friends of Nellie's have been really good about stepping up. Friends of mine have been really good about saying, hey, what do you need? I don't know yet. Um, one thing I know that I will need is going to be help boxing and moving and going through boxes of stuff. Um, that's going to be hard for a lot of you because, you know, you're not here. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to rely on people from here, friends of Nellie's, uh, things like that. I've tried to go through and make sure all the, you know, all the secret stuff is uh, pretty well taken care of. I have a lot of plants. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to be installing an alarm system on the house uh, just for the periods where I'm gone because I'm going to need to be gone for you know days weeks at a time and making sure that the place has some level of security is probably a good idea uh, I have the neighbors watching but you know once that obituary goes in the paper it's pretty much going to be open you know open season and really like to avoid issues so that's the process uh, never done this before Holy cow. At some point, I might try and put all this together into a, a little bit more of a guide. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure. But I um, appreciate your hanging in there with me. You, it really helps. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.